YouTubers cooking, cleaning first because you know cats. And uh, I'll come back when it's done and see what I'm gonna make. So yeah, here we go, cooking. The induction cooktop, copper pans, and okay, I'm gonna make another version of a soup my grandfather used to make. Uh, it was just he would go raid the pantry for all the canned stuff, and he made it with canned corned beef. And what's great about that version of the soup is everything in it is storable for like ever. It's canned food, it's all canned, and you can keep it on hand in case of emergency. I changed it, and I used um, hot Italian sausage. But I'm going to change it again, and I'm going to make it kind of veggie. I'm going to go with some uh, fake meat. Um, and sometimes I think I would like to go to the plant-based diet, you know. They just say it's much more healthy, but... I don't know if I'll ever get there, and my skills on that area are uh, pretty limited. So yeah, I'm going to try it with this. And to be honest, you know, I, I watch a lot of shows about um, going to a plant-based diet, and it kind of intimidates me because I know that uh, going meatless, you can still make things taste good, but I just have no idea to, how to cook that way. But then again, everything I show on here is kind of boils down to new and different ways to cover shit with sriracha sauce, so it can't be that hard. <laughs> but I'm going to start with this. And uh, so we'll get going. I'm going to turn this on medium low. I'm not going to use all of it because I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something else. So there's the crumbles. But when you watch those shows, and you really learn that it is much healthier to go uh, to go plant-based. And and they, I watched one recently. I don't remember which name it was. There, you know, there's thousands of those shows, documentaries and stuff. Don't eat this, eat that kind of thing. And the one thing they kind of make you realize is you get intimidated that you think oh it's too expensive I can't possibly afford to go all veggie and uh, some of the tricks they share are, are pretty common sense you know when you go to the grocery if uh, if you like both asparagus and broccoli and one of them's way cheaper well that week buy the one that's cheaper um, if you think the only way you can do it is to go full organic, but you can't afford that, which is kind of my situation, something they explained that I thought was pretty interesting was, and made sense, most of the pesticides and bad things about vegetables, for the most part, I'm not looking to get into an argument here with anybody about, about pesticides and organic and not organic. If I could afford to, I would buy everything organic. But, um... If you just wash your fruits and vegetables really well, you are you are eating so much better than ingesting meat. You know what I mean? But, like I said, my brain tells me I'd like to do it, but my taste buds tell me I like to eat seared flesh. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is every now and then do something a little bit different and maybe one day get past just this kind of cheating thing and, and actually learn how to make flavorful food that's just not rehashing other stuff. Or merely just but using processed fake stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So this soup. This soup was made when I was a kid, and like I said, anything he found in in the uh, pantry would go into the soup. And it usually ended up being the same things. Corn, green beans, uh, veg all, and stuff like that. And he would put pork and beans, well... I'm going to put some sriracha in there. Sriracha chili beans. So we'll get that started. And uh, I probably should have tasted these first because I've never had these. <laughs> this brand. I'm sure it's not as good as the rooster. But pantry soup. So you use what you have. Okay, we're going to stir that around for a little bit. Let it get up to a little bit of heat. So I'm going to start adding the vegetables. This is uh, veg all. And I will rinse and drain all these things kind of like I said. Next, we're going to do some sliced carrots. Full corn. Pretty full. Let's see how we're doing. 
my grandfather used V8 juice. This is spicy vegetable juice. And uh, that's going to provide the stock of the soup. I think we can get another uh, can of uh, veg all in there. All right, so there's another can of veg all. And like I've, I've shown in the past, I rinse these right in the can. That's how I do it. This is gonna be a lot of soup. But, it's quick and easy, right? If you, uh, you don't even have to add the meat to it if you just wanna make a soup. But if you carry some uh, canned stuff around, and a bottle of uh, vegetable juice, whatever brand you want, you have a stock to make a soup. Now, what we do is we allow that to cook, and we'll come back. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's about done. It simmered for a while, and then I turned it back up. Woo! Quick and easy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's see how it does. Trying to get a little bit of everything in there. Get a big spoon. Let's eat this. Come on. Okay. Hot, 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 hot. But quick and easy. And again, if you go to the corned beef, this can be in your RV or in your house forever. Because it's all canned. It's all storable. See? Man, that's pretty good. I could do it that way again. Not bad at all. But... Like I said, when I changed my grandfather's version to include hot Italian sausage, I thought this was a really, really good soup. But, something you can do. Have a great and wonderful day.